Hi guys, it's me Jace and I'm back with another tutorial which is going to be a bit challenging but super nice, okay? I'm sure you missed this board. Haha, <laughs> okay. Well, we are back on the board and for today we are going to make one of the most beautiful bracelets I have ever seen and I actually helped name this bracelet. Yay! I'm so excited. This bracelet is created by one of our favorite loomers she actually became a rainbow loom star of the week for rainbow loom when she created the bracelet arania which is also available on my channel i'll see if i can place the link somewhere there later if i if i remember <laughs> anyway so who am i talking about i am talking about rainbow loom dot rainbow loom dot enthusiast enthusiast okay Ooh, it went into screensaver there you go okay so rainbow loom dot enthusiast or better known as indira or indi or dira for so many people because her name is a bit challenging to say indira shonsi napoline okay so if you remember that then you are very talented <laughs> okay she is one of the best um bracelet designers i know and she also has awesome ideas and she creates fabulous combinations just very good taste very good taste indeed okay so this is rainbow loom dot enthusiast better give her a follow you're missing a lot if you're not okay so the bracelet we are talking about is called the quilt bracelet okay it's quite thick and will use quite a number of bands but i am telling you it's very much worth it it's a very beautiful design okay so there are details here which i love so much and that's why we called it the quilt because everything just crosses over so beautifully if you notice watch it see so nice and clean so if you pick your colors well this will actually turn out to be so beautiful okay <coughs> so i will do my best to guide you through the colors but at the moment let me show you something i am going to use the mother of pearl the new ones these are beautiful i will use that use them for the borders and for the cross in the middle, I will be using the baby blue, the new baby blue suites of rainbowloom.com. And then for the side bands that you see here, the blue, I will be using the, or the, pe the peach, the orange peach suites as well. And then for the these side bands that you see here. I'll be using these sweets as well. I forgot the name of the color. I'm sorry. It's something. <laughs> okay. And then the last color I'll be using will be these also. So, gosh, I have to start listing down the names. There's so many already. Okay. So, I'll be using that to, to be there. Okay. So, we shall now go and do the next, the first step. Okay. So, here. We will be doing a... We will make a configuration. We will be using six bar pins. The two middle bar pins are the lowest, and you go into a V form going up each time outwards. Okay, so this is how your bar pins should look like. And I am using 12 because I am making a full wrap. Okay, so this will take forever, but I don't care. It's a beautiful bracelet. So, step one. We shall lay the borders, which is the easiest step of them all. And so, we will now get, let me just put my bands aside, okay. The border bands, which for me will be the mother of style. And as you know, for the bottom, I always put two, okay, because I want our lock to be strong. I want it to be matibay, okay. So you put two bands at the bottom, so that your lock is going to be good. And from the third peg, you go out just like a regular boda. From the fourth peg, you go out to the right. Okay, you know the mother of pearl bands are very nice. They're very, very nice. It's so shiny. Nearly does look like mother of pearl. Wait, hold on, I'm straightening it. I know I'm OC again, getting OC because it's twisted. There you go, yay! Okay, so keep going out. To the sides just keep doing that keep going out and then go up 
a straight line just like so go up in a straight line sorry I know you might be wondering what's his hand doing there I'm just trying to make sure that when I put my bands they're already pushed down that's how I do it I don't know if it helps me if it makes time but I think it doesn't bother me at all so if it bothers you you can just push your bands low just push your bands later if you want but I do it this way mainly because I feel like if I push band pu push my bands down later they get more twisted so this way I'm pushing them down all the way down same way here all the way down so they're not they're not twisted anymore because later you just keep doing like that they'll all just get twisted okay so for my wrist I think I need about 20 gaps hold on let me check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 24. Oh! So it's 24 here. 24 here for me to fit me. Okay, no? <laughs> it's big. Okay. So for me, for the border, it's about 24. So I will be making, I will be placing 24 bands for here. 1, 2, 3, 4. It has to be 24 because it, that's what fits my wrist. Okay? But take caution that sometimes if some of the bands are they stretch less then it can be tighter if you have bands that stretch a lot then it's going to be loose so calculate carefully sometimes there's really no saying what the perfect number is for your wrist because the number of bands or sorry the kind of bands we use vary okay for example like the limited edition round bands those um, cylindrical bands they actually they are they are tighter than most so and silicone is also tighter so you might want to reconsider you know like we could give you tips on how many but it really is still up to you okay so i'll be back in a few seconds let me just finish laying these bow bands and i will be back i'm back and so far i've done all my border bands so just so you can see on the at the last part i did not put anything in the middle okay can you see it okay there i didn't put any band here anymore because we will close that with a cap band okay so don't worry about the last two pegs we will be dealing with those later <coughs> okay so now we move to the center axis okay and for those center axis we will be laying x bands here and i will be using blue okay so all you have to do is to just lay your axis from the third peg diagonally going up to the right side in an x pattern for the two bands and then from the fourth peg going up to the left doing an x okay that's not very hard to figure out is it okay and then you just continue from those pegs that you stopped from and just keep doing your excess okay there and just keep doing that all the way up see very easy okay very easy just like that just like that So just keep going up in an X fashion on the Su, the, the Su, the two center pegs. So two and center mixed together in one word. Okay. All right. So I will be doing all those X's all the way up and I will be back in a few. So I finished all the X's all the way up to the top of the loom. So there's no difference. There's no special arrangement on top. It's still the same X. So you just end at the top okay and then we now go to the side bands which are which which <laughs> here i go again with the which <laughs> okay so which are like the, these on the sides okay and so i will be using this beautiful orange bands and for this it's going to be super easy all you have to do is to get try to put your band from the second peg going up to the side this way just like that one and then you go from that peg diagonally to the left okay so it's actually just a zigzag pattern so from this peg 
going up to the right okay and then from that peg going to the left so it just repeats the whole thing so here same way you go from the middle peg sorry from the fourth peg going to the right and then from the same peg going out to the right again then just keep doing that in a zigzag manner all the way up okay so it's nothing special just a zigzag pattern so keep doing that you can do one left and right at the same time you can do one side first it's up to you okay so we shall be back because i am so excited about this place it, it's super cute okay so i'll see you in a few seconds so i finished laying the zigzag the zigzag bands they're done the zigzag bands are all up all the way up to the tip so i'll just show you how the other end looks like so you can appreciate it so there you've got your x bands all the way here and then the zigzags just end up there okay so nothing special all you have to do is just end everything the same way sorry moving the camera so you can appreciate the setup okay <laughs> a vendor just passed by saying pandesal okay pandesal is like our little breakfast muffin um local brand breakfast muffin we also have a vendor that shouts taho okay that's the soya drink or the soya i forgot <laughs> okay well anyway we've got street vendors here and street services they walk around house to house and that's something that i actually really enjoy here in our country um we even have somebody screaming or yelling shoe shine you know so it's something that is maybe not really unique to us but of course it's something that you can find in the philippines and really interesting um so sometimes you don't even have to go out of your house um, or to leave your home to be able to buy something especially for breakfast there's a lot we even have people that sell corn or peanuts and you know stuff like that or somebody that fixes umbrellas you know gumagawa ng payong that's what they, they yell in the street so interesting i love where i live okay so going back the next band maybe one day i should go out into the street and say slum bands slum bands <laughs> okay so i'll be a street vendor <laughs> okay so the next layer now will be our side bands and for this these are the greens here okay the green under is still a different band okay so that's the light green we will be putting it on the these two first two pegs okay the first band is from the second peg going up vertically okay and then from that second peg you go down one diagonally okay so why am i holding my hook <laughs> okay so the next one is from that peg going up vertically and then you go down again from there diagonally see very easy vertically diagonally reminds me harry potter diagonally okay go up vertically and then you go down diagonally <laughs> okay and for the other side if you haven't figured it out already it's still the same so you just go up one band <coughs> vertically and then you go out diagonally you go up and you go out again all the way up to the top of your loom okay it's a lot of bands um i haven't really estimated i don't have the habit of estimating how many bands so maybe i should try someday just so that you guys are ready and in case you have limited bands and you would know if a certain color will fit the design so you can count okay i think that's one of the things that might be an issue i think i read it somewhere okay so I am going to continue doing these all the way up okay and I will see you in a few seconds okay so I finished laying all of these side bands okay we are now going to lay the last color which is that dark green under okay now that dark green I decided to change the peach because it looks too close to this 
one I made. So I got my my Persian. Pers uh, I think it's Egyptian. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember the color. Anyway. <laughs> so the next uh, band that we will be putting will be from the second pegs. Okay. And then going out diagonally. No more here because it's pointless. So it's just from the second peg going out like that. Diagonally. <laughs> okay. So. Okay. So it's diagonally. Okay, just keep doing just one all the way up just like that very easy it's a lot of layers I know it's a lot of bands but I think the end result is going to be nice okay so that is going to be the next thing that you will be doing all the way up same for both sides just keep going up diagonally just like that okay there you go so we do this all the way up to the end and I'll be back in a few seconds so we're done with the green diagonal bands and we are now down to the last step okay our last step is placing cap bands on the, f the second and the fifth pegs okay because that is where we will start our looping and so we will start putting cap bands <laughs> sorry I keep coming back so we start from the second to the last one the first to blah 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 the second <laughs> peg okay and then you will stop second to the last peg also so you just start from the second and then you will stop at the second to the last peg so do not worry about it so much so what you do okay if you cannot see how can i make you see there cap band on the second peg just do it this way you can use the same colors as your as your brown underneath there um you might want to actually wait you know what I'm trying to look at my guide and it honestly looks like a triple cap so you know what let's make it triple because it honestly looks like a triple cap to me and triple caps are always better because they're tighter okay so triple cap then put it on the peg just like that that way it's tighter haha <laughs> okay another triple cap that's how you triple cap so three times and then you put it on your peg yeah there you go Ouch, it hurts my nails. <laughs> okay, this has really I cut my nails too short, so now I'm having a hard time. So I have no nails. So there, you just put it there. Okay, so triple cap all the way up to the second to the last peg. Okay, it's just the way it is. So, I'll see you at the other side, and then we will start looping back in a few so we're done with the triple cap bands and like i said we stopped at the second to the last by the way i already turned my loom around so you will notice the openings are already facing me okay this is already where we start looping so we stopped at the second to the last but before we start the looping don't forget the cap band that you have to place here so i got two okay because i like the lock to be strong then you cap it and then you place it on the two pegs the bottom two like that okay ta-da now we start the looping process and the first looping process uh, 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 okay goes into the second peg the second peg of the second bar pin and you will loop these green bands the first layer they are the ones at the topmost they're the topmost bands of the whole layout <laughs> there you go okay so you go into your cap band okay and then you pick up the topmost band and then you bring it diagonally upwards to that peg on top okay so it's not back to the home post okay you just bring it from here going to the left diagonally upwards okay you do that 
to all of those bands okay there so you get that band then you bring it up diagonally okay you know when you pull do it slowly so that it doesn't get so twisted that's always what i say slowly especially for the special bands because they have certain patterns on each side and you want those details to come out so see the metallic side of it should come out so it's beautiful so when you pull do it slowly don't rush you know? <laughs> okay because it gets twisted okay so while you while you loop you push it down also so that there's space for the bands when you loop later on okay for the other side it's the same you go into that cap band get the topmost one and loop it diagonally just like so okay go into that cap band get that band and loop it diagonally okay so you will do that for all those green bands or the topmost bands okay not very difficult so I'll see you back in a few seconds okay so we've looped the side bands we will now go and loop the second layer of bands which are the sort of like browns <laughs> I think and we will be starting from here so we will once again add our triple caps okay and the triple caps we will be using here are the same as our border bands so the mother of pearl wow I remember the name of this one at least because it's my favorite so you make a triple cap then you put it here oops triple there place it there okay place the other one here another triple and then you place it in this there see okay now we are going to start looping from the bottom and only for the bottom part will you loop sideways meaning i'll show it i'll just show it to you so from the first peg you get the topmost band this one and then you loop it sideways that is the only one that you will loop that way the rest will be going back to the home post okay so you go here and loop it sideways here okay and the rest now will just keep going back home to their own pegs so you go to the next peg you get that brand you get that band and then you loop it back to its own home post well own home post again okay, loop, loop it back to its home post and then you go back get the next one and just loop it back home see so you get the next one here be careful you don't grab the wrong one and then you just loop it back to itself get the last one the next one there oops no there and then bring it back to its home post the other side is the same get the topmost band aura okay and then loop it back to itself just like so then get the next one loop it back to itself just like that get the next one loop it back to itself and then get another one the next one loop it back to itself see okay so that's just the way it will be all the way up I'll do it one last time get the one band there a bit back to itself get the last one oops a bit back to itself I mean I mean last one of its color sorry yeah then go here get the band that's the diagonal a bit back to itself then get the next one on top and loop it back to itself so we will be doing that all the way up to the end of the loom okay so we'll see you the other side 
Okay, so we've done the side bands and we will now go to the middle ones. They are almost there. Gross. Okay, so we are going to get to loop all of these orange ones. And it's very simple. We're just bringing them back to their home posts. So, you just go into your cap band and just loop it back to itself. There. Go into the cap band. The cap band. And loop it back to itself. See? Yeah, twisting. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Allergic, allergic again. Okay. So go into the cap bands. And just bring them back home. Go in there. Bring it back home. See? Very easy as pie. Easy as pie. I remember Liam from Justin's Lois saying that. Love those guys. Super nice guys. Okay. So. There. Okay. All you have to do is just keep bringing them back home. Bring him home. <laughs> Bring him home. Do you know that song? That's from Les Miserables. That was the song that Jean Valjean was singing. So that Marius would be safe at war. And that he could come home to his daughter, Cosette. Because he would like to entrust Cosette to Marius. So he was saying to God, Bring him home. <laughs> okay. He's like the son I might have known. If God had granted me a son. The summer stars were one. How soon they fly. Okay. I have yet to think of a beautiful song to sing in one of my tutorials because Suzanne HB. Crazy just might work is challenging me to sing as well because she sang this beautiful portion of a duet from Lakme. Okay, and my god, does Suzanne HB have a beautiful voice? Oh my god, that was beautiful! So I'm so scared, but just in case you're curious, yes, Suzanne HB also sang classical music, which I also did. Okay. And I remember one of the favorite songs that I always used to sing was also from an opera. It was from Don Giovanni. It was a song called Madamina, il catalogo è questo. Okay, and that was the song of the servant Leporello to Don Giovanni. And he was singing about the many conquests he has had all over the world, counting the many women he has gone out with. Yeah, so that is a song or a portion of that song I should probably dedicate to Suzanne HP. Okay, in the case some of you guys do listen to opera, please do check out Don Giovanni. Suzanne HB, this is for you. Okay, Madamina, il catalogo è questo, delle belle che amo il padron mio, un catalogo lì che ho fatto io, osservate. Leggete con me, osservate, leggete con me. <laughs> In Almagna 231. Okay, anyway, I'm sure you guys are probably finding that so weird. But, opera for me is one of the most beautiful music in the world because I love singing opera. Okay. So, yeah, Lex Luthor, Lex Tudor has kind of a schizophrenic character I guess <laughs> so I am halfway and since this takes a long time and I don't want to be making you you know I don't want to make you watch something so boring I will cut this right here and then I will be back okay I shall see you in a few seconds so we're now finished with the side bands and now we go to the center and this is going to be easy because it is just as easy as crossing over left and right okay so you go into these cap bands and then you start from the left okay you get the one that's under under first okay under and then you go diagonally bring it home so you just bring it home to its home post bring it back to its home post 
then you do the next one bring it back to its home post see that easy then you go to the next one get the bottom most band bring it back to its home post and the other side bring it back to its home post so that's the easiest part okay so that I think we can do super fast all right so just keep doing the crossover again and again okay all the way up to the top okay just keep doing it okay there so I will be back in two seconds Okay, I'm super excited because I finally finished it. I'm just going to loop the border bands and then now we are done. So let's just do the border bands and let's get it done with because I really want to see how this looks. My colors are so mixed up. I don't know if it's nice. <laughs> anyway, I hope it's good. Okay, so you go into the bottom cap band and then see that border band. You just loop it back to itself. Bring it back to its home post. Let's get rid of a little bit of the twisting. Okay, then just keep doing that all the way up to the end of your loom and we are done and we are done okay just go to the next other side flip it back to itself go to the bottom flip it back to itself just keep doing that loop them back to themselves okay mother of pearl looks nice wow wow okay just keep looping all the way up to the top and I will show you how to clip it and close it and then we will remove it from the loom and see how this beauty turns out. I'll see you in a few. So we've reached the end of our loom and I will turn the loom around so it will be easier because it's too long. <laughs> okay. So I turned my loom around. Sorry, I moved my camera. So I turned my loom around because we're already at the last two pegs. I will now get my C-clip. I now have my C-clip. Wait, I think I need to get that. Oh, well, I guess this will work for now. So I have my C-clip. All you have to do is to fish out the last two bands under, right? We've done this before. You know this. So go there. Go inside. Then fish out those two. Okay. There. And then lock it with your C-clip. Just eh, Yikes. Okay. So lock it with your C-clip like that. Arr. Keeps flying away there you go yay okay so i'm now off camera okay ah it's so difficult camera you're in my face there it's locked and then you get the other two how am i oh god it's so hard let's just adjust a little bit shall we okay i'll turn the loom around the way because i'm really having a hard time ay caramba Okay, there. And then we fish out the other two. There. Okay. And then you also lock it on your C-clip. Just like that. There. So you've got everything secured. Okay. Now, because this is a thick bracelet, we have to remove the bands one by one from the side. Because it is hard okay so what you do this is what i always do which is we do it one by one so remove that from the side one by one just to make sure that you do not rip it off because your bands might break so i do not recommend ripping off the bracelet oops <laughs> my camera did my camera tripod did a major split okay <laughs> Ah, oh god. Okay, wow, I'm having so much fun. Yay, this is so cute. <laughs> ah, <laughs> okay. So, so much for large setups. Okay, why am I? I think because I did too much hook only designs. I'm not used to the board anymore. It's so big compared to the hook. Okay, I don't know how to make this. Hold well on. Okay. This is probably the, this, the most dizzying tutorial I've ever seen because I keep moving around. <laughs> well, might as well just laugh it off instead of get myself irritated. So 
So we do the other side. I don't want to pause anymore, sorry. There's too many breaks already in this tutorial. So I'll just keep on doing this until everything has been removed because otherwise we will never we will forever be doing this you know the thing i have to explain to all of you if you guys sometimes feel that i do not do too much board tutorials for the uh, at the moment it's because i had a lot of work and so it was so difficult to sit down to do board tutorials because the loom board tutorials like this one i've already been recording for one hour and a half going two hours so it takes a really long time and the hook only designs they only take 20 minutes sometimes only 15 minutes because it's easier to film because you don't have to set up and fix all your bands and you know so i love it don't don't get me wrong i love filming the board tutorials but i just really have to be able to do them when i really have good time in my hands to film so i hope you guys will understand and be patient there are times when i have a lot of work <laughs> but when i can do it i do it just like now okay but don't worry i will make sure to give you a lot of board tutorials soon because we will have more time and the holidays are coming holidays are coming okay so when the holidays come we will be able to do a lot more and we will do more variety so calling designers i actually would like to get more monster tail tutorials i don't have enough monster tail tutorials i'd love to get more so for those who have ideas maybe you'd like them send, maybe you'd like to send them over and we shall see i think that would be fun capit basic got gosh darn, tons of views thank you budget central for trusting me with that so again I am almost done and so for the tutorials again for the other designers who've been waiting for yours to air i apologize it will be airing soon and by the way i love the bracelet it's so beautiful look at that oh my god it's pretty Ooh, my combination is okay i'm not yet so happy with my combination but hey this looks so fab it's very beautiful Okay, I'm just fixing it a bit. Oops, I wasn't I wasn't on camera pala. <laughs> okay, sorry. I didn't even know I was yapping and I wasn't even in the camera. I couldn't even I was so focused on looking at the bracelet and fixing it. I didn't realize you couldn't see me. So sorry. So there. Look at how pretty that looks. That is a beautiful bracelet. Love it a lot. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty see it looks glorious Ooh, glorious big word <laughs> sorry it's a private joke okay so let me give you a nicer view that is the quilt by rainbow loom dot enthusiast i believe you like the bracelet too it is beautiful i love it so much so please remember if you are going to make this bracelet, please hashtag Jace Alvarez Quilt Bracelet and Rainbow Loom That Enthusiast. Okay? We would love to see your renditions. It was a very long tutorial, so I'm really tired now. Okay, so I'll see you in my next tutorial. Make comments in the box in the box below. And if you like this video, please like the video. And then we will be able to have other people see it and make it. And when you make it, please post tag hashtag because I would like to see your renditions. Bye 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 bye. See you.